first thing we want to do guys is to split these lobster tails so right there on the underside you are just going to press on these just to make the tail a little more flexible and easier to cut and then you can go in with your sharp kitchen scissors and just cut along so cut a little at a time just so you don't mess with the lobster meat too much so just go ahead and cut it right through after that you just need to remove those little pieces of shells and the intestinal vein any little bits and pieces of stuff that you don't want in there so that's one way you can split the lobster tail you could actually leave it whole too if you want to another way to do this is just to pierce the lobster tail with a very sharp knife and push right down after that you just flip it around and cut the rest of the tail super simple Now, if you look right here, you can see that vein, easy to just pull that out. So just take that out. And then after this, what I do is I just rinse the lobster to get rid of, you know, any gunk, any bits of broken shell. So I have the shrimp here, guys. The tail is left on. It's been deveined. And what I'm going to do is just rinse these with some cold water and lemon juice you don't want to leave your seafood soaking in the lemon juice for long because it can start to break it down and we're not making ceviche so we don't want to do that okay so just rinse it quickly clean it up and pat dry so these are good to go all right all we need to do is season so i'm going to be using some curry powder and maggi seasoning along with some black pepper if you don't like maggi seasoning you can use your favorite caribbean seasoning whether it's a fish or seafood seasoning um, or all purpose then i'm going to be adding green seasoning that's a blend of aromatics you know some nice herbs garlic ginger onion okay so i'm adding the black pepper here and then we're going to go in with the other seasonings when it comes to curry powder my favorite is better pack brand and I do like to add some chief curry powder as well. So this is a mixture of beta pack and chief along with the Maggi all-purpose seasoning. Once you've massaged all of the seasoning into the shrimp and the lobster, you can let it sit for a few minutes or a half hour if you desire. Now over low to medium heat, I'm adding some coconut oil into my pot. Just going to melt this and what we're going to do is cook up some diced onions. We want to get the flavor of the onions into that oil and then we're going to be adding garlic and ginger all right in goes the garlic and ginger i started off with the onion because i didn't want to burn the garlic you know how garlic can be super easy to burn so all we're doing guys is cooking these in the oil just to get them nice and fragrant to release all of those flavors and then we're gonna add some really nice spices i have a mixture here of turmeric i have curry powder cumin coriander powder and cardamom all of those are going right into the pot and we are going to just toast these spices for about 40 seconds in Jamaica, we say burn the curry, but we don't literally mean burn it, okay? We're just trying to get these to bloom. We want to get that beautiful fragrance and flavor. Then I'm going to add green seasoning. Of course, you know, that's a blend of herbs, aromatics. We're going to cook that in the pot for, you know, another 40 seconds or so. 
and then we will go in with some coconut milk or coconut cream if you want a lot of that curry gravy you can add a lot more coconut milk if you want less then you can add less that's perfectly fine just stir everything together and keep it over medium heat we're gonna add some fresh thyme i'm adding some green onions or scallion whatever you want to call it just add those in there and allspice berries aka pimento seed along with two small bay leaves then i'm adding some carrot you don't have to use a lot you know i didn't really want a lot and then scotch bonnet pepper if you can't find scotch bonnet pepper you can use habanero but ideally scotch bonnet now what we're gonna do guys is allow this to reduce a bit and allow the herbs and the scotch bonnet to just flavor that liquid and there's a peak at my jasmine rice okay so once the coconut milk has reduced a bit and we've given it time to absorb the flavors from the herbs and the peppers and everything in there then we can add the seafood the reason i do that is because we can't cook the seafood for very long so we need to let that coconut milk just you know get all of that flavor first and then we can introduce the seafood i'm gonna be adding some bell peppers and it's just for color it's not mandatory okay i'm really just adding this for color and i felt like adding some more scallion now we are going to be cooking this for three to four minutes maximum the reason we're doing this is because the lobster is small and it's split okay if you're using bigger tails you want to cook them for a while first before adding the shrimp also taste that coconut milk to see if you need to add more seasoning that's what i did here and i added more seasoning it could be salt pepper it could be all-purpose seasoning just let this simmer and you are good to go we don't want to do more than three to four minutes and here we are guys everything is just served up it is so delicious and it smells good i love this with rice but you could have it with roti or anything you like i just did a little coleslaw with my jasmine rice and this was scrumptious let me know what you think once you try the recipe see you next time